Hey guys, Logan with Enduro Engineering, and here I'm going to show you how to install the chainsaw mount on a John Deere Gator. There's two separate ways you can mount it. First, I'm going to show you how to mount it to the roll cage. Okay, to mount it to the roll cage, you're going to want to take the two composite blocks. On your chainsaw mount, there's two holes in the center. You're going to take one of each block along with provided button head bolts. You just go ahead and get these started up. You're going to have one block at the top, one block at the bottom. Now that you've got them both started, you're going to want to take a four millimeter Allen and go ahead and tighten both of these blocks down. Now that you've got both composite blocks installed on the chainsaw mount, you're going to have two rubber straps. There's already slots built into these blocks. Go ahead and slide both of them through. Then you can take the chainsaw mount. And this is where it's up to you. You can have it up higher, down lower. I like to have it down lower, that way it can kind of rest on the bed as well to help support it. And then you can just wrap the rubber strap around. You can pull it tight. These straps are really durable. You can pull it nice and tight and then just cinch it down. Okay, now that you've got your chainsaw mount installed on the roll cage, your chainsaw will just slide right in. You have this strap here, you can just make sure that this is, is loose, wrapped down at the bottom. Then you can just slide your chainsaw right in, take the strap, you can go right over top near the handle, then you cinch her down, and you're ready to go. Okay, we've showed you how to install it under the roll cage. You have another option. These John Deere Gators have a bar on the bed. We can mount right to the bar. In your kit, you'll also have these clamps. We'll show you how to install it on the bar. All right, we've gone ahead and opened up both these clamps. What you'd want to do is get them both started. Just go ahead and thread them in by hand. You're going to want to leave them loose. That way you can adjust and make sure that you've got the fitment for the chainsaw mount. So just go ahead and get them started. Leave them both loose for now. All right, now that you've got them both on there, we've still got them loose. You've got different mounting, slotted mounting holes that you can use. You've got three on each side to vary the height and get it how you want it. For this purpose, I'm gonna use this second height. I'm just gonna line it up and make sure that I'm gonna be able to get both bolts in there. Kind of line up the, the mounts. Now that those are good, you can go ahead and take a five millimeter Allen Go ahead and tighten both these clamps down. Okay, now that those are tightened, you can take your two button head bolts. Go ahead and get it started on both of your clamps. And go ahead and take a four millimeter Allen, tighten both these bolts down. Now that that's installed, you can take your chainsaw, make sure that your strap is hanging loose, slide the chainsaw right in the scabbard. And you pull this up tight, you can hold it right up against the handle, and then cinch her down. And you're all set and ready to go. If you have any questions, give us a call at 517-393-2421 or visit EnduroENG.com.